hello guys welcome back to the channel okay in this video we will learn how to create a REST API with authentication so in this we will use the Windows authentication and uh, we will consume that web API into Power BI so let's begin so let's create the project first so we'll create this uh, ASP.NET uh, Core Web API similar to our previous video now here when you are doing this there will be a option on the next page that we need to remember so here we'll say let's see this is my project name and this is the setting now see here it's asking me which uh, framework you want to select the target framework we should have 5.0 that is a current uh, version of dotnet framework and authentication type we already check with the non so there is no authentication now in this video we will talk about the windows authentication and it's uh, like microsoft identity platform it's almost similar to that but we will go with this windows one and the these are default selection we are not touching them and say create I will see uh, our sample web API is already created with the weather forecast data so you will find it here this weather forecast dot CS file and the controller and you will find the method here okay HTTP get method and uh, this is the return one okay so this is what uh, the method is okay now we'll simply build this one and then publish the method so the building is done now we'll uh, simply run the code and it will start into web browser with swagger and uh, we'll just test the api there in the web page and then uh, we have power bi open here and we'll go with the web here okay so let's keep open this one and here the visual studio has started web page with localhost okay the api is successfully built the sample api and this time it is with authentication windows authentication so for now we'll simply go through this one okay the get method okay and now you can try it here say execute and this is my base url and this is my response okay okay so now let's select this url and go to power bi and paste this url here and click ok okay so now we are at this page and we need to check that anonymous access for this web content is allowed or not okay let's hit the connect okay so it's saying we couldn't authenticate because we have built that uh, web api for windows authentication so let's select this one and i will pass some authentication and test boom it's connected okay now what it will do it will uh, extract that JSON and convert into tab table format and uh, it will show into query editor and then we can say apply and okay okay so we have the table now ready with this data so you will find the source here okay the list you will get 
in the json dot uh, document web dot context and even you can try here in more details how the method is called okay and again you can try in advanced editor and read out the code okay how it is connected so these are the steps okay web dot content method is used normally to connect but the time authentication is uh, in separate pan here in data so setting so you can remove and uh, you can edit the permission so you will find here the credential is windows authentication okay so close and let's say close and apply so now we have this data ready so we'll, i will just show on the power bi table okay so it's loaded now and we simply just go and check this one and take this table there is nothing much in this video it's like a uh, very straightforward I, I would like to show you the authentication part how you can get your web api and how you can consume here in the power bi so i think we are done with that and now you can see your data here so this is how you can build a rest api with windows authentication and how you can consume into power bi so while you are consuming you will using a web connector so this is it for this video thank you guys do like share and subscribe and please write down your comment for your use case so we can create a new videos on that use cases thanks have a nice day bye